Here at the University of Birmingham, we're on a journey to create the world's smartest and most sustainable university campus in the world. For us, this is about supporting our journey through to net zero carbon, but it's also about supporting the experience of our students, our staff, our academics and our visitors. It's about ensuring that we deliver a campus that is sustainable and fit for future use, whilst ensuring we support our local, regional, national and international responsibilities as a university that's all about promoting innovation and tackling world-leading challenges. The targets are very easy to set and, and net zero as a target sounds like something we could achieve tomorrow. The actual reality is it's incredibly complex and challenging in order to get there. This university emits 52,000 tonnes of CO2 per year and eradicating all of those emissions isn't a trivial problem and it will take us all the way to 2035 to deliver that goal. But what we're working on at the moment is engineering a pathway to net zero that says these are the steps and this is the cost and the benefit of taking those steps. We are implementing energy saving technologies, analytics technologies, new secure devices and deploying them in the field. We are swapping out old fashioned, quite often fluorescent type light fittings for brand new LEDs and um, integrating within the light fittings sensor technology that can uh, gather examples of how spaces are being utilised. When we're installing, people are asking us what they do. Uh, and they're not tracking individuals, they're just tracking people movements. So for example, in some of the buildings we've done, we've put these in and they've got the lights on before we've swapped them and they're heated, but nobody's ever used them. So we can see which rooms are being used and which aren't being used and the heating can be turned off and the lighting controlled. Continuing on from what David was explaining with the data that's going from the sensor to the gateway, the gateway basically sends the information to the Enlighted Manage platform. Um, this platform will show all the buildings, all, each floor with a floor plan. On the floor plan you'll see every single sensor exactly where they're located on that building. Each sensor you can see the, its energy consumption, um, the occupancy of when people motion, when people walk past. You can see the temperature um, and with all of that information it kind of collates it and shows you the total energy consumption per floor per building and it will give you the information of savings per occupancy. On top of that, with the occupancy sensors, you can see how the building's being used, which rooms have got more flow through it, which rooms don't, so you can see how that building's being used and you can look at um, how you can reuse your building uh, more efficiently, which will save money and also um, reduce bills, which is great. As you can imagine, there's a lot of a lot of collaboration and coordination that's needed to deliver such a programme of this scale across 25 live buildings. We're not we're not closing any buildings down as part of this programme, so we're very much operational as a campus. We need to be very conscious of the fact that we still have education and research to deliver, and it's very important that we don't impede on that in any way. So it is very much a, a collaborative effort across the Estates Office, working with our Siemens partners. One of the unique things we're looking to do at the University of Birmingham is to invest in tools and technologies that will enable our researchers to conduct new research through advanced insight collected from the data that is generated from the technologies and the equipments we deploy on our campus. Our smart and sustainable campus is one that is fit for the future.